。我是一个很怀旧的人。This is called Kueza. It's rice noodles and really good broth with like spare parts from the pig. <laughs> you know, the skin, the intestines, all sorts of different parts in there, but it's so good! I've been an east side kid for most of my life. I really like the neighborhood. It's very chill. It's very close to East Coast Park and the sea. So there's always trees and birds and just this really relaxed vibe. So we overheard somebody pronouncing Paris baguette as Paris bakute. <laughs> In a Singapore that looks increasingly unrecognizable to me, revisiting all these mementos from my growing up years, from my childhood Singapore, fills me with comfort. Every meal and snack you're seeing in this video was shared with someone close to my heart. Old friends, my friggin' huge extended family, my most precious parents. Over bowls of char siu noodles and papaya bihun soup and curry fish head, we catch up with each other's lives over the last two three years. Perspective is a funny thing. Bali is my spiritual home, and when I'm there, I am often feeling like life is so perfect that I just wish I could freeze frame. Everything in that moment in time, just to capture it. That's that's how perfect it feels to me. But when I'm here, immersed in all these wonderful, warm, cozy friendships and kinships, I also wish that time would just stand still, because, frankly, because I'm just so afraid of losing all these people I love. People assume that. Because I left Singapore and I found my happiness and truth elsewhere, that I do not value my ties here. That I abandon everything as easily as how one shrugs off a sweater when exiting a cold as hell Singaporean aircon office. The truth is, in fact, the opposite. I left because I couldn't find a way to live here and live with myself. I envy everyone who's. Pretty happy rolling along in Singapore with the status quo. I never found a way to do that successfully and still be at peace with myself. And the price for finding my peace elsewhere, outside, is that I don't get to be with all the friends and family whom I love and cherish. I don't get to enjoy as much time with them as I could have otherwise. 
There's an irreplaceable flavor to being with people who have known you and your family as far back as memory stretches. Friends who have shared the joys and tears of growing up and growing older together. This kind of kinship and friendship is yet another one of those things that money can't buy, right? It's, it's just those few things really. It's time, it's your health, it's the relationships in your life that really matter. If you think about it, Asian people, they don't say sappy stuff like I love you to one another. <laughs> Food is how Asian families express love. We eat and we eat good meals together to enjoy that moment of commune and togetherness and joy in savouring such good flavours on our tongue. So the talk is mostly banal. Who married who? Who has a new job? Who had a new baby? Nothing too real or intimate. But what I really want to say to all my people over these meals, over all these last three weeks, is really this. It's so good to be here with you right now. It's so good to see you. I'm so glad you're happy and healthy and everyone's doing well. Thank you for not forgetting me. Thank you for all your grace towards me. Even though you don't understand my choices in life, even though what I do is so alien in concept to you, thank you for not judging. Thanks for just accepting that it makes me happy and showing me that it's good enough that we just spend some time together and that you're happy that I'm happy. Thank you for making me feel so very loved. I love you all so much. I wish I can spend more time with you all. But I'm also so incredibly happy to see that we are all living our lives as best as we can in parallel. From the young ones to the old feisty ones and our family and our friends circle. I can't bring myself to say this when we are face to face directly across the table. But that's truly what I want to say to all of you.